Welcome to my lecture online. Now here are some other common e to the x type of functions for which we need to know how to find the derivative. So let's now tackle the derivative of e to the x squared. Well, we use the very same principle as we did before. We're going to repeat the function e to the x squared. And now we're going to take the derivative of the exponent. And in this case, the exponent is x squared. So this becomes equal to e to the x squared times 2x. And so this becomes 2x e to the x squared. So simply repeat the function and then multiply that times the derivative of the exponent. We do the same over here. So here we can say that this is equal to e to the minus x squared times the derivative of the exponent, which is a minus 2x, which becomes minus 2x e to the minus x squared. So that makes it a little bit faster, but again, just realize you simply copy the function and then multiply that times the derivative of the exponent. Now we can do this in a different way. We can say, well, this is the same as taking the d dx, the derivative with respect to x, of 1 over e to the x squared. Now we have a quotient. So let's go ahead and use the quotient rule to see if we end up with the same result. So this is equal to the denominator e to the x squared times the derivative of the numerator, which is 0, minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator, which is e to the x squared times the derivative of the exponent, which would be times 2x, all divided by the denominator squared, which is e to the 2 times x squared, right? So when you, when you square a function that has an exponent like that, you simply double the exponent when you're squaring it. Okay, now let's simplify this and see what we get. So this, of course, goes to 0. Here we end up with, this is equal to 2x e to the x squared divided by, here we have e to the 2x squared. And when we divide the denominator into the numerator, we subtract exponents, x squared minus 2x squared, leaves us with 2x e to the minus x squared, which should be the same result that we got over here. And let's see here. Oh, I can't forget the minus here. There's a minus here. And of course, that leaves us with a minus here. So there we go. Include that. There we end up with the same result that we end up over here. I just realized I was missing my minus sign. And finally, when we take the derivative of e to the ax squared, that becomes e to the ax squared times the derivative of the exponent, which is 2ax. So this becomes equal to 2ax e to the ax squared. So you can see, now it becomes quite simple. You simply copy the same function, and then you multiply that times the derivative of the exponent. And that's all you have to do. That's how you take the derivative of an e to the x type function.